Welcome back to the art desk. It's Nyx, or Resonant Moon, and today I was not feeling my best, so this whole painting is going to be in real time because I did not have the energy to do a uh, more complex picture. I did, however, have a specific thought in mind when I was um, putting this together. So I sometimes get messages in my head that are like something that somebody needs to hear. And this message kind of applies to a lot of people that I care about and to myself. So maybe it'll resonate for you as well. But I had to imagine that the people I care about, they all have pieces of my heart. And so I wanted to create something that showed the eternal nature of that familial love, of that platonic love, of that sibling love in a way that translated. So I decided we were building a little garden, just a very simple garden. There's a little hair on the paper that I'm trying to get rid of because cats, one of whom is trying so hard not to ask to sit in my lap right now. She's the little Lilith that we painted yesterday. And of course, you've got to have a strong stem. So going over the stems in different shades of green, a yellowish green, a teal green, a mixture of the two, just to give some depth and dimension to it. And you may hear that I also don't sound very good and, and it's because I was not feeling well. I'm still not feeling well. Um, the whole reason I'm having a uh, surgery um, is because of endometriosis and PCOS, and today it is kicking my butt. But we're doing our best because that's all we can do. And I really wanted to make sure I at least painted something. The first flower that I'm putting down is a marigold, partially because one of the podcasts I listen to, The Witch Daily Show, shout out to Tanya, by the way, who is an amazing host and does a lot of research and work for that show and is doing a really cool event this weekend. Um, but the flower that she was talking about today was marigolds. And I think the history of marigolds, especially in Mexican culture, of being uh, the way that spirits of loved ones past can find their way back um, to their families for Dia de los Muertos is just so beautiful. The next flower is the iris. And honestly, irises make me think of my grandmother and my great grandmother. Um, aside from being a symbol of France, uh, it's something that just always made me think of them. So had to include those. And then I needed to think of another flower because I knew what I wanted to do with the two middle ones. So I decided to go for one of my favorite flowers to paint, which is the Stargazer Lily. It's a bright pink lily. Um, if I were doing a very detailed picture, it would also have speckles on it. Um, but I find them fascinating. I have since high school and they're just so much fun to, uh, to paint with all of their beautiful arcs and the way that their petals seem to dance and twist. And finally, the whole, um, the beginning of the thought for this painting was where does love grow? forever. 
So this is where we're making it grow. And speaking of where love grows, I do want to thank everybody who has donated so far to the GoFundMe. Um, so far on the GoFundMe itself, we've raised $320 and I got a huge donation from someone outside of, um, outside of the, uh, GoFundMe that sent me $500 and I've already started using that money to prepay the bills, as I've said, for, um, was the goal for, for this fund. Um, so thank you all so much for your generosity. Now remember that starting a week from today, so Friday the 11th, we're going to start doing giveaways on Twitch for some of these paintings. So, um, everybody who has donated so far, your names are entered and I give you one entry per $10 that you've donated. Um, so just know that, you know, if you, you didn't miss out if you donated already. Um, and the raffle will be some of these paintings, whether it's the ones that I do on stream or on YouTube, or if it's some of my older ones that, um, that I'm getting rid of. Uh, one of our big donors has already claimed uh, a couple and I am A-OK -okay with that. <laughs> um, I'm just very, uh, very grateful and I want to show my gratitude to you all for helping me out um, and helping me reduce my anxiety as I prep for this. So let's talk about these ghosts. And first of all, whoop, I love when this happens, when the line work is still wet and I add more pigment and it just kind of spreads out. That's really cool. So these two spirits, they're probably friends. Maybe they're lovers. However their love showed, um, this is where one wanted to bring the other to give them a little bit of peace, a little bit of joy in the afterlife. And I love when I'm able to share something with somebody that I care about that they are really, really into. I love watching their face light up. And that's kind of what I was trying to capture here. Now, the phrase that I decided on for this, um, for this painting is wherever you are is where my heart is. And that's really how I feel about all of my friends and loved ones who live far away or who I don't get to see all the time. Uh, each and every one of you has a peach piece of my heart. <laughs> I mean, you could have a peach. I don't know. I don't control what you eat. <laughs> Um, but you can also tell that I'm kind of struggling here. Um, like I said, the endometriosis is kicking my butt today. And that's why my hands are kind of shaky and I don't have a lot of energy to do a full, um, detailed painting like I've been doing the last few days. And that's okay. And if I need to take tomorrow off to recover, um, you know, I'm going to accept that that's what my body needs because the whole point of the prepping for the surgery and everything is for my body to heal. And the whole reason that I share these vulnerable moments with you, um, is so that you also know that it's okay to rest. It's okay to be perfectly imperfect and it's okay to make space for yourself. You know, my work is never going to be perfect and I don't want it to be. I definitely want it to have that imperfection that resonates with somebody. That's why my screen name is resonant moon. Um, it's still beautiful. It still has a message that 
means a great deal. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But yeah, you can see that at, towards the bottom, my energy, especially my strength in my hand is just going. Even my maker's mark is crooked. Um, but we have video documentation that I really did make this thing. <laughs> I don't know why my camera would not focus properly. And for that, I am very sorry. But I'm hoping that this really cute scene of these two friendly ghosts sharing a little float through the garden uh, gives your heart as much joy as it gave mine. And yeah. So until next time, lovely celestial beings, dear patrons, and everybody else who is coming upon this page, I hope that you grant yourself grace. I hope that you have a beautiful day, whatever day, whatever time it is, where you are. And I will catch you all next time. <laughs>